Okay, so we are back and we are ready for round two of turbo fuel. Now, again, I see that we have some power guys that got highlighted at one point. Let's uh, unhighlight them. And we got one over there. I don't know how these things get highlighted. Look at where he is. So our next step, we, these guys have been running for a bit. Um, the petroleum coke is running at full speed and it's only using a little bit of this <clears throat> because we are turning out heavy oil residue for, as you see up there, um, 66 and two thirds for petroleum coke, 66 and two thirds for diluted fuel, 266 and two thirds for turbo blend fuel. <clears throat> So yeah, that's not going to be all of what we need. So let's get rid of these guys real quick. They are going to now shut down and when they get to the, their, their stuff full. <clears throat> Our next step is I want to lay out the blenders making diluted fuel. I want to leave a little space. So I'm going to do the same thing over here that I did there. I'm going to put this same kind of... Um, space in on this side. So yeah, most of the power, you can see my power floor is just going to kind of go away and get reconstructed as time goes by. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over there. So this is beginning to shake out to a nice little pattern. Um, if I go ahead and put these power floors in here, that kind of commits me to this layout. And that's acceptable. Get these guys connected up. There. That also means that this is here. There we go. He's growing out of the middle of a right of way there. That we're not going to be using for anything important. Because if we wanted to put something important in there, we wouldn't be able to do that. So get a little more space out here. Um, and this, yeah, let's run this around too.
I'm liking the pattern. <clears throat> it gives us some space between our five by fives. I can break the pattern at some point if I need to. Why is that Z fighting? Oh, it's this. Uh, why you gotta be Z fighting on me? I will. I will have to put some fluff around those to to deal with the Z fighting at some point. Um, what if I make this concrete? Does not help. Foundations, half foundation in concrete. This top bit is Z fighting. I put in a ceiling or something. Is there architectural ceiling? Uh, Please tell me that roofs on top of walls don't Z-fight. And it's different on one side. What? Stand. Uh... Okay, I don't see any Z-fighting, and I don't mind the glass. We'll use that. <clears throat> anyway, back to what we were doing here. Our next step is a pair of blenders. Hooked up in parallel to make diluted fuel. So clear the designer. Load the blueprint. Um... Do we have a pair of blenders doing anything? The blenders configured for instant scrap and hooked up in parallel. Start from this. First of all, is this gonna, are we gonna be able to, to work from here? So the instant scrap has all of the things, so we should be able to trim it down. So let me first start by saving this up with the new name. Uh, this is BB diluted fuel. Oh, I have a BB diluted fuel. Okay, clear blueprint designer. Oh, this is a blender and a refinery together. Uh, this is this is what I was using at my power plants before, and I could have used it here, but I wouldn't have had enough of the the purple stuff. So we need to do a this is a BB diluted fuel combo. Edit diluted fuel combo gets put in here in place of this BB diluted fuel, which goes away. We have BB blender down here. Um, I'll start with the instant scrap.
definitely start with the instant scrap. Call this diluted fuel pair. Do, 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 there we go. Select icon, save blueprint. And now we just need to reconfigure and simplify. We are going for diluted fuel. Uh, we are running at 66.667%. that so our target production rate is 66.667 that's correct so we have two fluid inputs and one fluid output and no solid io oh this goes away delete the floor holes that will take care of the lifters above and below and we delete the mark 4 belts because all of these blueprints were done when I was doing everything in mark 4 splitters and mergers go away we still have the power down below we don't have any more of our Lifters or holes, we have a fluid up and a fluid level. And we have a fluid out. And we have this cross connection from the input to the output, which we were using. Um, we will not be doing that. I will be reworking this bit. Okay, so these guys are now doing fuel, so we're going to color them properly. Their fluid inputs are heavy oil residue and water. Heavy oil residue is already being routed on the main level. So we are going to put in that connection. This is heavy oil residue, not fuel. And this is going to be water. So we will need to go pump some water up here. And our output is fuel. There we go. Uh, we are making a total of 133.333 per minute fuel using diluted fuel from 66.67 per minute to the oil residue and 33.333 per minute water. So BB diluted fuel pair. So this is going to need to go in here somewhere. Um, we're going to need to have purple go to him. We also need purple go to turbo blend fuel. So I'm going to put turbo blend fuel over here. Oh, he needs four blenders. Um, okay, I will put the, the current one here. Turbo blend fuel is going to head out that way. It may, it may take up two blocks. <clears throat> the fuel pair oh come on 
Your inputs are from the right. We're going to be pumping the water up, and we're going to be. Oh, let's actually let's bring the inputs from here. So the water is going to have to come from. Oh. Oh, can I bring the water from here? Can I please bring the water from here? Tell me I can bring the water from here. <laughs> Production, water extractors. No, it's not deep enough. Oh darn. Maybe I can bring the water from above and not have to pump it. That's an idea. we can bring the water from here or from over there oh are you talking to Follow me the veins to the altar and chant nice little puddle. Uh, we only need 133 water for what we're doing. I can always overclock it later to get more. Uh, there's quite a bit of space in here. I wonder if I can um, <laughs> Okay, so I do need to put a normal block down first. So, what level do we successfully get our... Uh, easy way to do this is probably to use the double ramp, this. Let's start off with a normal T-meter foundation. Now we're going to do a double ramp, two meter, going down. Like that. And there's going to be some level that's going to be correct for our water doohickey. Okay, we need to clear out the bad guys here real quick. do I want to... Uh, that should be enough. Oh, I could clear him out. I think that's good. We'll go back to here and we're going to go to the one meter foundation. I'm looking for the level that allows me to place.
Okay, so a dry foot, wet foot, and I think that's the level where I put the um, water extractor. So we will pull all that up. And I'm just going to zoop this across the whole thing because I don't really know where we're going to be snapping things in. There. <clears throat> we should be able to get a bunch of water extractors in here if we need to. Uh, we will do that in the future if we decide we need to. Meanwhile, um, production. Oh, wait a minute. I don't have to over. If I put several in, I won't have to overclock. So if I put this guy in. four of them in there that's that's pretty nice now each one of these does 120 a minute so i can bring all four of these into one pipe and if we overclock them it's going to be two full pipes and we can do that in the future if we decide we need to but for now i'm just going to grab all of them and i'm going to merge all of them So I need something to put my um, process at the right level. <clears throat> the foundations, I need a uh, two meter foundation. it on through here. I'm going to move these guys back a little bit if I can. But they are just hanging on the edge there. There we go. Doop, 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 doop. Logistics pipeline junctions. I'm going to hook up all four of them, even though it's total overkill. You are going to be on pipeline mark twos here. Oops. It's clean ones to start with. Yeah. Good idea to do these first, just in case they wouldn't line up. And I'm going to use a Pipeline Mark II here. Later, if we overclock them, we'll have to bring two Mark II pipes out instead of just one. And I am going to, uh, to pump. Like that. Power. Uh, I like the idea of using a power rail on these. The way I do that. Just like that. And each of you guys comes out to the top of the rail. And because I can't come out to the middle of the rail, I'm going to put another rail on top of this. And we're going to put this on the other end. Down. Uh, 
and we're not going to worry about the fact that we are doing all sorts of evil things. Uh, I'm going to do auto. Let's do noodle on the pipe. Here I'm going to go to horizontal to vertical. Because that looks better for doing these long traverses. Uh, okay, that gives me a pipe is too long, so I'm going to need to have a, a vertical hole there somewhere. Um, A wall support from there. <laughs> nope. I would have to build a wall for that. Um, In the future, I will need to run a decent uh, architectural building to, to move these through cleanly. Uh, you need to bring your power up to here. Actually, all these need to be uh, double wall outlet Mark IIs. And one level higher. Okay, that works out. So we go to here and power. Double Mark II outlet. Now I'm going to hook these up doubled because I really like symmetry. That needs to go back to power down that way. Good enough. <clears throat> this is going to start out with uh, 480 water per minute in this Mark II pipe. water down there that's going to be too far so we need something here to look it to so we need a foundation uh, 
I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring a foundation out like this. And we're going to bring in a hole. Like this. I had no idea it was going to be so many pipeline segments. This is crazy. Uh, it is okay for us to go down and back up, but I think for my sanity... I'm going to head over towards where we're going. We're headed from here. Um, This guy needs to come across from there, at this level. on that and let's go paint it up Now it's his water hooked up. He needs his power and his heavy oil residue. Power, easy peasy. Uh, we just bring one of these guys down into the underfloor. So now they've got their power and their water. And that would bring the heavy oil residue across from here. And I am going to need to bring this one here and center line there. Okay. Now with the mole painted up, 
it was as easy as matching up the colors to make sure I had the right thing. And we are now supplying. And these are now making fuel at uh, 133 per minute. Yay! And those are going to stop as soon as they have filled up their fuel areas. Need to figure out what to do there. Um, gosh, I guess for now... big pillar in below it and have a pillar coming up. That'd be kind of cool, have pillars coming up out of these. Um, I don't think that's going to be worth the trouble of doing it, though. I could put in... something like that. Yeah, kind of, I'll, I'll do it that, that way, and we'll just kind of mark that for later. Uh, so if we build a second floor here, we'll know what we wanted to do. Mainly I just want to fill in the hole because it's ugly. guys on top. Yeah, I put him in the wrong place. Oh, the, tip, the pillars have that little tick when you line them up. So diluted fuel is a small part of this. So the turbo blend fuel is going to require all the fuel and the rest of the residue and the sulfur we haven't got coming in yet and the coke that we've made and that'll make 400 turbo fuel. Okay. And we need to build more of those. What I'm going to do is take this down. And I'm going to make this guy longer. Okay, so back to one. So I'm assuming I can put two blueprints of blenders next to each other for kind of a double long. Just making sure.
so we have our heavy oil residues available from there or from there and can strike down this way. Our fuel is available from there. So we're gonna bring him out and around and one of these guys is gonna be lifted, probably the fuel. <clears throat> Sulfur and coke need to come in. Oh, let's bring it around the back. So the inputs are gonna be on the back here. The heavy oil residue will come out and around. The fuel will come up and over. And our inputs are going to be on this side. And they eventually wanted to come... Oh, 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 I wanted to bring those in. I wanted to bring the sulfur in from there. And there's... Okay, so we do need the inputs over here. Okay. And we will take the sulfur on belts over this direction. Or, oh, I could put, ah, I could do my, um, my drones up here. Okay, we could do that. It'd probably easiest if I just stripe this across to get there and then delete the ones in the middle. Yeah. I am so frippin' lazy. But this also means I can go over to here where I'm gonna put it. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here. Actually... Let's put it here. And what I want to put here isn't the concrete slab with power, it's the new one, base plate minus corners. And actually, now that I look at it, um, I want to center this over this guy. This high, oh, oh, if I build the pillar up to that height. Yeah. There we go. Now focus on the center of that guy. And we are placing base minus corners. Hit H to lock it into place so I can go down here and look at this. Now, how do I want to dress this? Um, big pillar support. There. And there. And I can put other uh cool stuff on that later um i want power coming down somewhere <clears throat> does it really matter where i bring it down to one of these guys this to a convenient place. Say here, and then anywhere with power. Hope I didn't just cut power to something important.
I did. Oops. Up oh, there it is. Okay. So this is going to be our drone port where we're going to be receiving our sulfur. And now it's time to go build our turbo blend fuel. Two blenders in parallel with tons of inputs. So I'm going to start again from the one that has everything. Load blueprint. Uh, ba -ba -bum. That guy. This is turbo. Blenders configured for producing those. The turbo blend fuel. Let's take a look at the whole thing here. Fuel, fuel residue, sulfur and coke input, turbo fuel output, no solid output. And I have not unlocked that one yet. Bam. I know it's in my library, so turbo. Uh, turbo blend fuel, there it is. <clears throat> so I will need to recap. I want to use the rigor motor, so I will need to feed it another hard drive at some point. There we go. Turbo blend fuel. Let's double check. Um, we are running four at 222.222%. It's also two over 2000 over nine. So four of those X out, four of those sixty-six by four. I think that checks out fifteen fifty. Yep, that checks out. Now your color is bright red for turbo fuel. Your output is bright red for turbo fuel. Oh, we need to remove this little doohickey because we are not feeding our output back to our input. inputs here are fuel and heavy oil residue. I think I want the fuel up top. And the heavy oil residue goes on the bottom. Now 
our solids are coming in from the bottom and they're being presented here. Uh, I do want to make these fives all around. So your Mark Fived, you've got your fuel up top, you've got your purple at the bottom, you've got your red coming out the back, you've got the two inputs here. I have a spot for your other input there. And this is Turbo Blend Fuel. Check. Save Blueprint. Let's put it in place. Inputs are coming from my direction. Boom, boom. And I need to hook up power. And come in from the back and hook them both up. Over. Oh, and these don't have the power poles on top. Do we actually have power? I think so. It, it seems to be showing me making connections. First step is purple, which should just go straight across because I'm using the same setters for everything. And I could hook from there over as well, but I'm not going to. Uh, I need my inputs here coming in from here. That comes out and around, and I need to split two directions. In from the right. About there. Make sure I got the right thing. Yes, petroleum coke. So we need sulfur and fuel. Oh, and this guy needs to be hooked up. Why do you have nothing? You should have your petroleum and heavy oil residue. Oh, I didn't get all of these pasted up. There we go. My blueprint was not complete.
See, you're on turbo blend fuel, and you are still on instant scrap. There we go. And we've already corrected it out there, so we don't need to pick it up and put it down again. Maybe old residue and petroleum coke. Check, check. Check, check. Check. And we need fuel. It's coming out here. I'm going to bring it over. down to the point here it should be midpoint here it is okay midpoint back up one two I'm gonna go to here horizontal to vertical and perfect and these guys have 10 meters of lift so we're good I don't really need a hole there. So all these guys are now just waiting for sulfur. I need sulfur to come off of this and come down and get merged in behind. So best if I bring it down here. Oops, I need to look for sulfur. Five hundred ninety three that way. I am going to put my drone port facing this way. Transport. Drone port. Can I make you stick out over the edge? I can. And my corners are all nicely aligned. Once this place is finished, I will be supplying you with fuel from below. Uh, we will also need drone ports for exporting the fuel like crazy. Um, power comes down mm, here-ish. I am going to start you with some of that. And you are going to be a drone on there.
There we go. We have several ports going. Nobody has sulfur yet. We'll have to put some sulfur in place. Um, people do rounds with normal fuel for a bit. Uh, but we'll see how much he needs. I may have to set up a box of normal fuel just to get him to move enough fuel for us to, to complete the factory. And you are going to be coming in from here. I'm going to be sending you down right here. Into there. Now, let's not have it go on top of the... Bring it all the way back to... That. This will be sulfur. Oh, nice. You're down there. And you need to come around to a splitter that's going to be splitting these two off, and I'll just put it here. go. We just need to go get sulfur now. Let me pause for just a second. Okay, so have had a little lunch. I've got something to drink. Time to go get sulfur and there's two sulfur nodes. What I'll do is I will have it fed to me from over there. So we may need more fuel here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab all the packaged fuel out of the depot. Some of this stuff back in the depot. What else can I drop in there? Uh, goes in. Goes in. Okay, <clears throat> we're all set to go. And we need to go find those two uh, sulfur nodes and get miners on them and get drone ports sending out the drones for them. And I can just go right up here. There's one of them. Not hard to see at all. Ooh, did I get the... I, I No doubt I got the goodie from here. I did. Let's see, foundations, uh, two meter. I'm gonna set up a little bit of a platform for the miner. So you turn out 480 per minute without any overclocking at all. So I'm not going to bother overclocking this guy. And I want to send you off that direction. So we're going to start from here. Um, let's actually just put in a big pillar support here and a big concrete pillar. Let's go up 10. 
And then another big pillar support. And on top of this, we're going to put our thing. Oh, 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 we need, uh, we need to run power up here. Well, I'm going to run the power from here. Blueprint for our nice little five by five minus corners. Went in directly at the middle. And that's correct. He's got power. And now I need to send all of my stuff that away. Um, I'm gonna face him that way. So I'm gonna try to send you up there. We can, we can come. There we go. Now you're going to own a drone. Your name is Sulfur Turbo Fuel. comes down over here. Uh, you're going to need some fuel to start with. And you are going to be putting something up. Uh, do do let's let's just run you I'm gonna bring you all the way out how about there whoops except we are not on that one we're on the other one be there yeah let's bring you in there Oh, yeah, uh, I shouldn't have gone quite so high. Well, there's a fix for that. There we go. We now have 480 sulfur per minute being sent up to this 
port. He's going to fill up the drone and then he's going to fill up the port. And I'm just going to wait for that to happen. Am I willing to bet that our throughput from this drone down to there is going to be less than 480 per minute? Because he does take nine stacks and he's got a total of 51 seconds of animation time. You are still filling the drone? Goodness, you're thirsty. We may not need to go get our second drone, uh, our second drone port. Hmm. We'll see what our throughput is. Where is the second one? Hey, over there. Probably down there somewhere. Oh, no, it's on the other side of that thing. It's way over there. Okay. I think I'm just going to use this one um, for a bit. Uh, if we need more, if we need to add a second port, what I'll do is I'll put the second drone port here, and I'll just bring this guy up and split him. Okay, let's set this up, this port. Sulfur mine for turbo fuel A is going to turbo fuel plant sulfur receiving. Retrieves his cargo patch. If you're good, you can ride these things. I've tried. And it kind of bucked me off early on, so I don't worry about it. Uh, what? I actually put the drone port above his altitude. Interesting. Yes, he just nips over here and docks at that drone station there. And there's our first load of sulfur. Just for fun, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all that turbo fuel and I'm going to bring it out over here somewhere. Uh, about right here. I'm just going to put it in a big old container so we can see that we're actually producing it.
and we have turbo fuel being made. This should be producing turbo fuel at 400 per minute. Not sure why that says 96%. It should be slowly converging on 100%. Maybe I'm not getting my heavy oil residue quite fast enough. This is where perhaps having a, uh, a buffer on the heavy oil residue might improve things a little bit. Okay, so these guys are suddenly gonna shut down because they have no output, all right. I forgot to add up. So 69, and that should start going up. Oh, I wonder if they don't update these frequently. That's got those. What do we have left to do now? We need to make some residual plastic from our polymer resin, make some canisters from residual plastic, and then start packaging the heck out of the turbo fuel. And the remainder of the turbo fuel goes to generators. And this seems to me to be a good spot to cut this recording, as we now have turbo fuel being created. When we come back, I will uh, route the turbo fuel and the. Oh, we are we are currently going to bottleneck these guys because they have a resin output that is not being dealt with. Uh, I better take care of that real quick before I button this up for now. I'm going to put in an awesome sink. I'm going to take the output from there and oops, do that. And that should relieve the I have some coupons. Well, there we go. So we still have sulfur here and we're getting our second load in. And he's coming in with uh, about six stacks. Let's go take a look at his stats before I stop the recording. I should probably have put in a hyper tube to go up to sulfur. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna be going back and forth very much. So. Yeah, uh, I think from now on when I put that in. Uh, I'm only going to put in maybe five of those. Eight is probably the maximum for the lift. Get shorter though, will make it look a little more steady. So this says, <clears throat> for the short distance, 
We're using 41 fuel per trip. It means 17 per minute. Round trip time of 250. Um, we are moving things at 317 per minute. Okay, so sulfur, we can get sulfur at 200 per minute with no problem at all. But I am going to need to have fuel available down at the lower end. What happens if he runs out of fuel? Does he simply stay where he is until he gets more fuel? Okay, so organization. We're going to give you a, storage, a normal storage container. <clears throat> I'm going to drop in here. And you get all of the fuel except for one stack. And I'm going to grab another set of 500 fuel from the depot and give that to you as well. So if I deliver to this guy and he is full, does he stall? If I deliver to him and I can't unload everything, does he stall? Or is this guy just going to run back and forth full of sulfur, wasting fuel? I mean, not a bad thing if we had our fuel set up here, but we don't have our fuel set up here yet. We're now... Uh, okay, he is waiting until he can finish unloading. Well, that's nice. Okay, that means that once we have come to steady state and this is backed up, he will just sit here unloading until he's empty. Apparently, you can't interact with the drone at all. So the reason why I like to carry some fuel on me is that I do occasionally use my, my jetpack. And the jetpack requires fuel. I will convert over to using turbo fuel in my jetpack once we get turbo fuel. But at some point, <clears throat> he will fill up. You have saturated for some reason. What's going on? Uh, oh, that is probably as much fuel as they can put in <clears throat> because of their head lift. So if I were going to be serious about using this to its fullest extent, I would put a pump in. But we are not actually going to do that. Uh, we will be boxing up fuel and then sending it out to power. Let's see, turbo fuel generators, we need 36 of them. Well, that sounds like a six by six array, doesn't it? Which is three by three of these guys. One, two, three, one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, oh, that's only, yeah, that's only that big if I pack them cheek by jowl. I don't think that bringing these, bringing the power online here is going to be terribly critical. So what I'm going to do is I will set up to use the Fluxo uh, blueprints. And I will set those up. Um, 
I guess I'll line them up along this edge heading out that way. Uh, let's see, 32, how about a 12 by three? No, I don't like doing by threes. I'll do, I'll do six. Hmm. Four by nine? Bring my fuel out this way along this edge and stripe it in here so we have three rows of generators that way. Okay, we could do that. And I can start by dusting these. We are going to need a slightly different layout. The uh, Fluxo blueprints are actually four by four. you hooked up for now uh, there. okay so yeah power fuel will go over that way and we're going to split so the other half goes over this way to our packagers or so this area under here will be for uh, making canisters and packaging. And I'm going to call that a recording and we're going to come back, do the fuel packaging, and then start building the generators. Um, I think between now and then I am going to wander over to the other side of the map and pick up a whole bunch of materials so that I can put down at least eight of the generators to start with. Um, well, we'll worry about that when I get back. I will see you then.